Good morning everyone. Happy Wednesday. I am running a little bit behind schedule for my pulmonology appointment today at 11 a.m. It's uh, 5 after 10 right now. Um, the pulmonologist is about a 30 minute drive from my house, give or take. Hopefully traffic isn't terrible and it should only take me the 35 minutes. Um, so I'm hoping for good luck on traffic in DC which is uh, kind of like a catch-22. Damned if you do, damned if you don't, but it's whatever. Uh, today's appointment at my pulmonologist is sponsored by the VA. Inside joke. Um, the VA referred me back to my own pulmonologist because their pulmonologist there at Martinsburg can't do the advanced therapies that my pulmonologist can. So thankfully the VA farmed me out to my own provider that I've been with for the past three years. So that's a plus. But uh, yeah, I'm running a little bit behind schedule. I'm going to keep my eyes on the road and drive in not so nice of a way. So I'll talk with you guys when I get to the doctor's office. So I'm at the doctor's office, obviously. Room 13, my lucky number, and lots of golf magazines, and a National Geographic. Uh, numbers look pretty good today on my uh, spirometry, but I'll be discussing that with the doctor here in a few minutes. And uh, just looking forward, hopefully the numbers are a little better. I mean, my lungs still feel pretty good, so that's a plus. But I'll keep you guys informed here in a second. So I'm leaving a doctor's office, which is right here behind me. Good news, my numbers are stable. Uh, lung function has gone back to my normal baseline. Uh, about two months ago, yeah, it was about two months ago, I dropped, no, three months ago. Wow, it's been that long. So three months ago, my numbers dropped through the floor. Um, but that was because I was like really sick then. So my numbers have gone back up to my normal, what I call my baseline, or what is my baseline. So that's a positive, and uh, it's great. I'm gonna come back in two months to my pulmonologist's office, and I'll have another pulmonary functions test to make sure that my numbers are still stable, and hopefully they are, and I'll be good to go. And I've also gotten the okay from my doctor that if I want to travel, just get the paperwork filled out, bring it to him, he'll sign it, and then I can fly on an airplane if I need to or want to. So, good news all around. Now, it's time for me to get out of this parking lot to go do anything. I have to say that the light from the setting sun makes the whole kitchen and living room and everything else in the house just looked so pretty and it's one of the reasons why I don't have shades on my kitchen windows so yeah um, I'm gonna cook some dinner here in a minute and then I'm going to a nine o'clock movie to see Valerian the city of a thousand worlds it's uh, a sci-fi movie obviously and it's 3D, so it follows in suit with what um, Avatar used to be. So that's how they were able to create this graphic novel into a movie. Rotten Tomatoes doesn't give it a good rating, but I'm a sci-fi buff, and in case you haven't figured it out yet, a little bit of a nerd. So I'll be going there shortly. But for now, I'm gonna get to cooking some dinner because I'm hungry. Well, Valerian was a very very long movie, uh, almost three hours actually, because I had 9% battery life left on my concentrator, which is plugged in, because it's dead, almost anyway. Uh, car charger is amazing on it, it charges the car, or charges the battery in the car super fast. Like I walked out of the theater with 9% battery, by the time I got home I was at 22%, so something, at least it's able to get me through to the house to get onto the continuous flow behind me. That's the white noise that you hear. 
all in all, good day. Good news with the pulmonologist, so I'm looking forward to everything after that. And uh, basically that's a day in the books. So thank you all for joining. As always, have a great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.